Happy Tuesday. Uh, actually, a little bit of rain today. We've had some spotty showers, mostly traceable stuff to at most one one hundredth of an inch here in the valley. We've had uh, more numerous showers, but mostly light scattered stuff at the coast. And it's all courtesy of there's a surface low offshore. This shows the upper level low offshore. But one thing this is doing, if you saw some filtered sun late yesterday, I did at my home up here in Vancouver, the upper flow pattern around this low coming up from the southwest is in increased the wind speed just enough that the thickest smoke clouds have shifted more over toward the Cascades and Central Oregon and we're seeing some thinning smoke that's allowing a little filtered sun I think we get that again today and air quality numbers although still unhealthy and worse are generally a little bit better the air quality warning in place until Thursday at this point um, so this system just kind of hangs out so while Portland has a chance of a shower, a lot of us probably aren't going to see anything until we get into Thursday, maybe Thursday night into Friday. That's when the slow actually shifts inland. And forecast models are still showing hope that Thursday overnight into especially Friday morning, we get some hours of widespread rainfall and we pick up maybe a quarter of an inch across the entire area. And there's fingers crossed that maybe some of those totals could go as much as a half of an inch, but I'll be Really, I'll be happy if we get a quarter of an inch. Again, that's Thursday overnight and a Friday morning, the best chance. There's a, still another little wave of clouds coming on the back half of that Saturday morning that may produce some traceable rain. Otherwise, I think Saturday starts to clear out. Sunday, we still have basically a, a hazy sunshine to a blue sky sunny day on Sunday and pretty nice into the first part of next week as well. So forecast models show once this low moves inland, and we get the rain Thursday overnight, especially into Friday morning, that what has been a pretty solid smoke plume overhead really starts to shred and thin itself out as it gets sheared and pushes off to our east-northeast. And once that happens, we should be out of the woods in terms of not returning to as bad of air quality as we have seen the last several days. So there's big time hope that next week, while we still have some hazy sunshine, it'll be much better overall moving forward. Remember, these fires are still burning. They're still putting out new smoke, and every day will depend somewhat on what the surface wind flow is going to do. But overall, forecast models show mostly west winds. That'll keep the smoke much better here on the west side of the Cascades, mostly west winds through the remainder of this month. And once we get however much rain we end up getting Thursday overnight and Friday morning, there's not much in the rain forecast until we get to roughly the last five days of September. And then there's hopes that another weather system will bring us some beneficial rain at that time. Okay, so that's what I have. Uh, hope you're doing well. Hope the air quality is not you know, impacting you too much. And with that, I will bid you a nice Tuesday.